Our original human nature was not like it is now. Human beings had each two sets of arms, two sets of legs, and two faces looking in opposite directions. Due to the power of these original humans, the gods began to fear that their reign might be threatened. Zeus hurled down his lightning bolts and divided the humans in half. But the gods, worried that the humans now alone and losing the will to live, might not survive or multiply. They left us with a memory, a longing for our original other half. Separated, we are but the indenture of a person, and we are always looking for our other half. When one of us meets our other half, we pass our whole lives together, desiring that we should be melted into one, one person instead of two. And the desire and the pursuit of the whole is actually called love. Go Cowboys. Go Cowboys. <laughs>Loving is the ultimate commitment which challenges humans to become all that we are meant to be. Love is not meant to be the possession of two people alone. It should be the source of a common energy which gives you the strength to live your lives with joy and happiness and courage. It's not the most romantic story, I'll be honest, but we did meet at a bar. I was with a group of friends. She was with her group of friends. Two different worlds. And I saw Joseph walk up to the bar. Kind of caught my eye a little bit. I see her staring. She could not take her eyes off of me. I'm like, what's going on? Do I have something in my teeth? <laughs> he actually went and sat at a table with people that I knew. I just messaged his friend. Hey, what's this guy's deal? Is he single? I'm single. What's up? <laughs> the rest is history. Crystal and I went to middle school together. We got pretty close pretty quick. She's very feisty. She's beautiful inside and out. She's just like a ball of fire. Me and Joseph met in high school. He always has to be doing something. He's always looking for the next best thing. He's one of those people that pushes you to that next limit because he knows you can always do more. This is one of the hardest years that Crystal's gone through that I've seen. She's good, huh? <laughs> Joseph really is just her rock. It's really a blessing to see somebody love on your best friend because that's really all you want for them in the end is just happiness and he really truly does bring that to her. He is honestly the most caring person you will ever meet. Just going through life with him on a daily basis, like I know he's the one. He's never once made me feel like I'm doing it alone. And then when my dad passed and I sent the he's gone text, he was there in 10 minutes. <laughs> Oh, it's pretty, right? Beautiful. I will never forget, he held my dad's hand and said, I promise you, like, I've got her. I promise. And I just, I knew, like, this is, this is the person, honestly. He's the best. He's the best. It's just something that you feel, you know? 
there's something about her, something that we went through and have gone through and still go through to this day. It's like, it's worth the effort. You know? She makes me be a better person at the end of the day. And she's remarkable. Joseph, you've always been one of my biggest supporters. You've been there for some of the most rewarding and fulfilling times of my life. Dang it, I didn't even get through the second <laughs> sentence. Always cheering me on and letting me know just how proud you are of me. Crystal, when I sat down to write my vows, there was literally no way I could begin to tell you how much you mean to me or even to get my feelings on this piece of paper. But when I started to rethink all the loving and hard times we endured over the past year, things just started to roll. It's been seven years today since we've been together and with the help of some of our closest friends and a bunch of tequila <laughs> and a lot of laughs and tears, you have became my best friend. Not a second goes by where you don't cross my mind or I'm wishing I was right there next to you. And of course, with all of that good does come some not so good, but you've been there for that too. Even during the hardest and most upsetting loss I've endured in my life, with losing my dad, you were right there. No questions asked. Joseph is getting Crystal's dad's ring. Your rings say that even in your uniqueness, you've chosen to be bound together and that these rings also be a sign that love has substance as well as a soul, a present as well as a past, and that despite its occasional sorrows, love is a circle of happiness, wonder, and delight. Joseph, with this ring, Ivy wed. Crystal, with this ring, Ivy wed. Wear it as a reminder. Of my promise to love and respect you. To share good times and bad. Sickness and in health. Until, until death do us part. From this day forward, your lives shall be woven of one design, and your perils and your joys shall not be known apart. By the authority vested in me by the great state of Texas, I proclaim you to be husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. I promise to always show up for you in all the ways you've done for me and to let you know you're not doing this life thing alone. For our future kids, whoever they are, please let them get my looks <laughs> and your brains. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I promise to love you to my very last breath, and I promise to always pick you up even when all seems far gone.